फ्रेंड्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हैप्पी न्यू ईयर टू ऑल ऑफ यू दिस इज माई फर्स्ट वीडियो इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन आई होप यू विल एन्जॉय इट दिस वीडियो रिगार्डिंग एडमिशन टेस्ट टू गेट द एडमिशन इन डी आई टी डेग एंड ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर द मास्टर कोर्सेस इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड मेकेट्रॉनिक्स एंड ट्राइबर फिजिकल सिस्टम्स आई गॉट टू सैम्पल पेपर्स आई विल शो यू इन लेटर आई ट्राई टू explain briefly because i also gave the exam i hope it will helpful for you people also and one more thing you can also find these uh, mock test paper in your uh, invitation mail if you forgot to check that mail please go on check you can find the paper there you can download it and if you do each and every problem or each and every question in the question paper this is very helpful for you to uh, do in exam please watch until the end you can find some tips here let's go so here i have one practice paper for electrical student first of all first i want to explain for electrical students because i i written that exam uh they mainly ask for four topics mathematics physics electrostatics and basic electrical engineering so first of all don't worry at all they will just want to know whether you know all basics or not all the questions will be um, coming from like your 12th subjects mostly so you need to revise everything whatever you studied before in like 12th maths 12th phys 12th physics electrostatics in from btech and basic electrical also you know that be subject everyone will have almost so that knowledge is enough anyway whatever i know i want to tell you so when comes to the mathematics it is for both courses w8 and mechatronics when come to the mathematics you need to know uh, complex mathematics like differentiation and integration Um, as well as limit you should be thorough it you write everything in one paper formulas whatever you need so just revise and do this two problems they will not going to ask this question same but just for uh, practice you just do these two problems and um, take every concept and go deep into that do for example 10 or 12 problems for each topic that will be enough um i guess if you do complex problems at home when you go to the exam uh, like you don't feel that much tense and much uh, tough while writing the exam and you even you can save the exam time for another part of the questions like physics or uh, some other if you take all the time doing mathematics problems then you won't get time for other questions so when it comes to the physics physics mainly they will ask newton's laws force energy problems and momentum they will give some square mass or uh, sphere mass like mass problems they they will ask so don't forget to do the problems in physics they are not going to ask any theoretical questions they mainly focus on problems only so one more thing when you see the questions um highlight the like 
thing so what they are asking so go deep into that do uh, three four more uh, problems regarding the same topic uh, when you google it they will there are many problems so you can download it and you can do it see here two point masses m1 m2 so mostly problems on mass only when comes to the physics so don't forget to um revise sound topic from the physics sound light wavelength these are important chapters to learn electricity also this is all from 12th basics when it comes to the electrostatics you should know about newton's gravitational law so and you should do problems based on that and point masses especially um, so this course depends on problematic more control system automotive drive system advanced mathematics so they want to know how how strong um, like how strong you are in mathematics so don't forget to revise everything and in electrostatics electric field what is electric field and charges how they work formulas i write in one paper and revise before going to exam and when you are doing problems itself when it comes to the marks you will you need to get more marks from mathematics and as well as from basic electrical engineering so i'll will give some topics in basic electrical engineering so don't forget to um, learn the topics for example you should first of all know what is current what is voltage what is power uh, what are the uh, what are the notations and uh, measurements how you measure current voltage and all you should know and then after ohms law ohms law relations and kcl kbl kirchhoff current law kirchhoff voltage law definitely they will ask one question from uh, kcl and kbl so you can think that this is a hint and you should be familiar with the uh, circuit nodal analysis and mass analysis and all theorems like thevenin's neutron superposition so you should know everything from theorems just see once then you need not to go into that but uh, you should know what is the definition of thevenin theorem neutron theorem superposition theorem at least a minimum knowledge is required for that and last but not least you should also need to check uh, study resonance rlc circuit so i hope they will ask this much if you can learn then learn everything but who cannot learn everything then these are the topics you should learn i hope this will be helpful for who are writing wit entrance exam when it comes to the megatronic students for wit there are only four topics to cover mathematics physics and electrostatic and basic electrical engineering but when it comes to the uh, megatronic students they have also added chemistry informatics and control systems so i guess you should study more compared to electrical students because of more content 
so mathematics physics and basic basic electrical engineering i am not going to discuss because now only i have discussed for electrical engineering just see that everything same for you guys also but when it comes to the informatics um, informatics nothing but a digital electronics so don't go deep into the digital electronics i have some topics i guess this is enough i guess so do not forget to do not forget to revise number system in number system you know that binary decimal hexadecimal octal so and binary to decimal decimal to hexadecimal there are many conversions so check every each and and every conversion and uh, learn some techniques you should do fast because there will be not that much enough time even when you get seat after getting seat when you study here also they are not going to give 3 hours as we get in india here for exam almost 60 minutes or 90 minutes it's like if you get 3 hours in india they will give here 90 minutes so time is more important learn as many tricks as you can and apply in exam don't think that exam going to be so like in set exam it's just simple entrance exam and logic gates also so and or nor etc and just check once flip flop circuits also i don't think so they will ask but for information just i am telling that number systems logical gates flip flops and in number system check float also hmm when comes to the control technology and system technology in control technology there is a chance of asking uh transfer functions laplace transformations state space analysis and so on and they might ask frequency gain formulas or else uh, they will give one circuit and ask that find frequency find gain or find input current input voltage like that and when and and there is a chance of asking open loop circuit closed loop circuit feedback like that so just um for glance go through it just see the every formula note it take one paper and write mathematics formula physics formulas chemistry formulas electrostatics basic electrical engineering informatics control system 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 theory system technologies like that why because formulas only you needed when you do analytically so formulas only required uh, write shortcuts if you can mm, you need not to store everything uh, like रट्टा मार के नहीं जाना है बस थोड़ा पढ़ के जाना है वो काफ़ी है वेन कम्स टू द केमिस्ट्री आई डोंट थिंक सो लाइक आई डेंट रिटर्न लास्ट टाइम आई डोंट नो अबाउट द केमिस्ट्री वॉट दे आर गोइंग टू आस्क बट फर बट but what i can tell you atomic structures periodic table is important chemical reactions so just know the chemical reactions how 
that acid base theories mm, chemical compounds so i don't know exactly what they will ask in chemistry but you should check in 12th books like what are the basic topics you can learn for that so i hope i gave some clarity or else some information regarding to the exam if you like please subscribe share to your friends like and leave a comment thank you for watching my video once again happy new year to all of you bye bye